hours for a long time. So thank you, Sandy. And she's running for seat four. Thank you very much for having me today. It's so good to be here. My name is listed on the, the paper there as Sandra, but I'm running as Sandy, Sandy White. Um, so I'm running, my priorities in running are to preserve Hayden's small town feel. And I think we have a real quality, uh, unique situation in Hayden that it's a small town. <coughs> and I'd like to preserve our uh, property owners' rights against this 2040 comprehensive plan that the city council is introducing that's going to radically change the structure of the city of Hayden. And also we need to look at the taxation and um, not put the burden of the taxes on the residents that are there that pay for the new growth, but have the new growth pay for itself. So let me, thank you. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. My husband, Alan, and I met at college. Uh, we both grew up in California in very patriotic homes. And um, we met at college, and we've been married 40 years. We have three children, and we have eight grandchildren. And um, 40, uh, 24 of our 40 years were spent overseas in the country of Turkey, where we um, were teaching Bible and English, and we, um, I had two children in Turkey, so if that doesn't make me brave, nothing does. <laughs> and, uh, and also living overseas gives you a real appreciation for your homeland. You know, it was, it was a beautiful country, I love it, I love the Turkish people. But um, getting back on home ground, and feeling the patriotism I did is just is amazing. And so that comes out and it makes me a fighter. It makes me wanna fight for freedom and fight for my uh, fellow, uh, my neighbors, my fellow people here in, in Hayden. So I'm another one of the people that woke up during COVID and I thought I've got to do something. Something has to change. And I, I was listening to a speaker, she said, you need to start locally. You can't make big changes up in Washington, D.C., start local. And she said, if, if you do nothing else, just start going to meetings. Just find a meeting. So I started going to Panhandle Health meetings. I started going to the county commissioner's meetings. And I, got, I started going to the Hayden City Council meetings. And I started getting involved. When the mask mandates were in effect, I was there for every um, Panhandle Health meeting fighting and um, so thankfully, in, in the month of March, they ended that Panhandle Health mask mandate. And so that was a huge victory for the people. And then uh, also, I was fighting the, the mask mandate. I've been writing to our mayor in Hayden saying something has to be done. And uh, Hayden City Council was getting ready to vote on a mask mandate. It was right after Coeur Lane did theirs. And the mayor called me and said, we need someone to speak for the people we're gonna vote on a mask mandate, would you please come? So I came and I spoke for liberty and for freedom and the city council only passed a suggestion or a resolution, but not a mandate. And so we're very thankful for that. So also um, in the month of uh, February, I was talking to the mayor again and I, I said, you've got all this equipment here set up to record the meetings, but our meetings, our Hayden City Council meetings, are not on YouTube. How can the people watch what's going on if it's not readily available? So um, starting in April, they started putting all of our Hayden City Council meetings up on YouTube. So that's something big for us. Um, I'd like to see the planning and zoning meetings getting up there soon and uh, other things as well. So thankfully, thankful for that. But something really big happened in the month of April. I got a letter in the mail saying, notice of zone change. And um, when my husband and I moved up here, we were able to buy our first house. We just, it's just a little house on a cul-de-sac. But for them to come and say that we are being rezoned from residential multifamily to mixed use. Now, if you don't know mixed use, that's apartments and commercial. Now our street is all done, everything's built. Why would they rezone us to be apartments and commercial? So I, I had no idea what was going on. I had so many questions. How does this affect us? Taxes, 
Can we sell our house? Who would buy it if it's mixed juice? Um, so many questions. And then I started researching, and I'm, I'm a digger. I research, I dig in. And I found out that there were 1,700 homes rezoned, and that this um, 2040 comprehensive plan was rezoning massively our city. So, um, so I, I really uh, want to be on the city council, see change made, see our homes protected, see our property rights protected. So vote for me on November 2nd, Sandy White for Haven City Council. Thank you. Thank you.